Hi guys, Daniel here and welcome back to another one of my how-to videos and as the title suggests we're looking at an APC back UPS 500 um, basically it keeps beeping which is an indication that the battery has failed and needs replacement um, if it keeps beeping and the battery's fine it means that the there's no power to, from the mains which the mains just goes in the bottom there and you've got your different devices here just check the fuse and that and the switch on the wall depending on what you set up you've got so I'm just going to show you how to get this apart it's actually quite easy you'll need a few tools and I'll share a few other bits of information as well I use a flathead screwdriver or some sort of prime device and it is a posi head 2 or Phillips so the first thing you're going to, going to want to remove is this front cover here. Uh, there's no screws on it or the bottom or anything like that. It's literally just four clips to either side and just use a flat head for that. So what we'll do is we'll remove that part first and then I'll show you uh, the rest of it. I'll show you inside at the end. Um, I'll film this video in parts because I've got to, I'm only filming it by myself. So. So the front cover's removed, and like I said, it's got these little lugs that push in here. Just, just use the flathead screwdriver underneath. There is a hole here, but it doesn't seem to do much when you put anything under there, so, so that's that part. So the next two bits we need to remove are the posi head screws. Uh, they're these little um, black screws. They are magnetic those things and basically the entire unit uses these screws right so that's two of them removed probably just want to keep them all safe put them in here so you two at the front and that's the only thing you need to remove on the front and then we come to the back and it's got four of the same screws on the back now you can remove if I remember rightly you, so the battery's actually in there. You can get away with just removing these two and these two here and just leaving this on, this back panel. And the only problem is, is when you come to refit this, it kind of has to tilt and slot in. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a few minutes. So it's best to remove them all. So we will remove them all now. So all four screws are removed. Um, worth taking out the battery connector just so the circuit inside isn't energized and leaving it for a few minutes you probably want to do that before you start any of this and obviously once we get it open don't touch any of the electronics because there's capacitors in there that can be dangerous so four screws removed you can lay it on its side like this and then it's just a case of lifting it up pulling out just this and that's what it looks like just pull this away Basically that will go in at an angle and then slot down what I was saying in the previous part. Um, I've had this unit since 1st of the 9th 2019 on the sticker. And it's lasted a few years, but obviously things, things need replacing every now and then, so that's why I was making this video, because I'm going to replace this battery. So this is the battery, this is all inside it. Basically circuit at the bottom, ele electrics at the back. Just keep your hands well away from any of this. So this battery here has got the red at the front and the black at the back. So we just remove these. And you can pull the lead acid battery out. And that's the space. So I'll just show you what the battery is, just in case you want to get a like for like replacement. So that's the codes. on the other side or the front and there's a sticker here this might be helpful to you you can actually buy at the time of making this video in the UK you can actually buy these batteries for around 18 quid 18 20 pounds so when it comes to refitting it which is a case of putting back in connecting the terminals up refitting that put the put the put this part on this side part Put all the screws in the back, put it in the front, and just 
pop that on and then you're done. So hopefully this, I hope this video has been helpful to anybody that's got one of these UPS units that keeps beeping and uh, needs a battery replacement. Obviously you can just buy a new one, it's up to you, or you can return it if it's not a few years old, whatever, whatever you want to do really, but thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask me.